Okay, well, Dave, here we are at Aston Villa's training ground. It's a complex you've used previously and really good for them to, to let us use them again this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Great facility. Um, perfect for us in terms of where we're going. We're fortunate, I suppose, with Ross that's got a, a good contact with John <laughs> Terry from his Chelsea days that he keeps reminding us of. Um, so, listen, to be able to use this standard of facility um, on the on the way down is, like I say, is, is great preparation and we're, we realise how fortunate we are to be able to do it. They might not be around today, they're, they're quite busy this weekend, Aston Villa. Yeah, they've got a pretty important <laughs> game, haven't they? Um, no, obviously, the, the way that they are, again, speaking there, they'll obviously train here, I think travel travel tomorrow. Um, it happens more now, I suppose, when, especially Premier League clubs have the facilities they've got, they prefer to probably stay and use their own facilities and then, and then travel down, but obviously a massive, massive game for them at, at the weekend. Um, and like I say, something that hopefully or potentially kicks them onto what is a, 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 a big end of the season for them. And we've won our first battle of the weekend. We've beaten Plymouth Argyle here. I think they're due as well, aren't they? I think we probably had less of a distance to go to, to get, didn't we? Possibly. So it's probably a, probably a little bit of a dis a bit of, a bit of an uh, advantage or a handicap we had in terms of um, maybe an earlier start, but certainly less less distance to go. We may have a little bit further to go when than them when they when they arrive. But um, yeah, when they get here, obviously again. For I say a club of of this size to be able to offer clubs lower down a facility to train at is like I say is, is brilliant. Um, not quite a lot of the Plymouth lot, so if they do get here, I'm sure I'll have a, a good chat with them when they when they do arrive. Let's turn the rain machines on again though this this afternoon. What kind of work are you going to get done? I know we've spoken about before. It's fairly light stuff. All the main preparation already done. Yeah, most of it's done. Like I say, it's just a, a like I say prep session really. Uh, a few reminders, a little bit around potentially different things that, that may happen um, prior to the game in terms of systems, formation, set pieces, things like that. But in the main, a light, a light session, like I say, most of the work's done. Uh, an enjoyable session on a, like I say, a really good surface, great facility, and, and get on the bus and get, get down there and relax and look forward to um, look forward to a, a big game tomorrow. It is a big game, isn't it? Given the, given the momentum we've built up in recent weeks, these two away games we've got coming up now could be potentially pivotal, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I spoke earlier in the week, to be fair, with the with the players around the way these two games sit. Probably with with Bournemouth having a game on on Tuesday, if they did one on Tuesday with a game in hand, potentially for us, they're probably not catchable. But I mean, they've had a, a brilliant season, but. Um, Saturday, if, if we can win, we, we, we can get within two points of them. And granted, they've got a game in hand, so it's probably made it even um, even more um, more critical. And then, in fairness, the game on Tuesday is a, is, a, is like I say, is a, a real big opportunity because Solihull are within, well, like I say, within a game of us. Um, so if that remains the case, then we have an opportunity of, of leapfrogging, leapfrogging uh, another another contender. Um, but listen, two important games. Like I say, we, we've built momentum. We've. I don't think it'll, like I say, be defining in terms of the rest. Listen, we can we can win both these games and not not win a, not win again the rest of the season. It does nothing. So I still think, that, like I say, with eleven games to go, the target still remains the same to um, to do that. If we can better that, brilliant. Um, fundamentally, what we want to do is make sure we get enough points to to give ourselves some extra games at the end of the season. Extra games that are, like I say, um, have huge motivation um, and real importance to them. As you say, Bournemouth would have had a fantastic season. Their 15-game unbeaten run came to an end during during the week, but by and large, they have really bounced back after a strange campaign last year. Yeah, it, listen, at the ups and downs of this division, um, and like I say, I've, I've I've witnessed it my, myself previous on my previous club in terms of um obviously Luke and, and his side got within ninety minutes of the of the football league and when Tron may get a man sent off in the first minute you think potentially that that's the, the a big chance to do it. It didn't happen for them. Um once then you lose not your two best players, but two big important players for us in Morgan Ferrier went and um, Bruno Andrade went and that was a lot of their goals. They struggled to replace that or couldn't replace that last year and resulted in them, in them struggling. They've replaced that this year in, ter in terms of getting um, Tishy Mangan and Marsh in and that's been a, a real a real plus for them and it's got them back to where they were, I suppose, two seasons ago in terms of being not just in the shake, in with a, in with a big chance um, and that's 
that's how, how things work. Not just at, at this level, football across the board. It, it, recruitment's massively important. If you can get the right players, then or certainly the right players for how you want to play, then it's going to give you give you a, give you the chance. Um, they have found that, and they've, like I said, they've got themselves a real a real opportunity um, to kick on. But hopefully, like I say, we we've we've turned the corner a little bit, got a little bit of a run ourselves, and give ourselves. An outside shot of of, of sort of um, hijacking any any places, and like I say, hopefully we can we can carry that on and and um, and go and achieve that. On a personal note, you know Luke Garrard really well. Is that going to add a little bit of spice for you this weekend? Um, not a little bit of spice. Listen, we, we like I said, we, we chat. I think we'll meet him at the, at the hotel later on, providing we don't get stuck anywhere. <laughs> um, um, we'll have a chat and and, and and things like that, but. He'll want to win. I want to win. It's simple as simple as that. Um, and we'll both do everything we can within our powers and our teams to to hopefully hopefully go and do that. But once the game's finished, then the game's finished, and it'll be we'll have a we'll have a drink, and then we'll shoot off. And I'm sure I'll speak to him in, in in the week or further down the further down the line. And I, I suppose from my perspective in particular, you, you hope that potentially somewhere between now and the end of the season, our paths cross again. If that's the case, then um, both of us will have been successful and achieved something um, and again further down the line could have like I say an, an awful lot more significance than, than what um, what tomorrow will have.